Say, Daddy, Lord, take your place, oh God. Say, Daddy, take your place. Say, Daddy, renew the right spirits within me. Father, take your place. We want to see you. See you highly lifted up, Lord. And renew the right spirits within us. Hallelujah. Let us begin to continue to be in an attitude of worship. Let us continue to thank him for all that he has done in our lives, that we're still here standing, that we're entered another month, um, the eighth month of this year. Let's continue to give all the glory, all the honor. Your family is alive, your wealth, things that we take for granted. Just begin to thank him, begin to worship him. You are the reason why I live, I am. Why I lift my voice. It's all because of you. You are the reason I'm alive today. And I'm alive to say. It's all because of you.
customary to me when I come to give you the announcement to emphasize on the fact that you're still alive. It's enough. August, January 2020. How many people have we lost up till now and are still dying? So when I say praise the Lord, you are among the privilege. You are, you are, it's a rare privilege in 2020 
to still be alive. Be that way you like it. You still go to the grocery stores. You still go to your job. But yet, you are not consumed by this virus. So, praise the Lord. God even added unto us. Is that not enough for us to give thanks to? While many are dying, we are still increasing. So in everything we do, we should always have it at the back of our mind that it is a rare privilege to be alive. Happy New Month. Let's listen to our weekly announcements. Our Sunday school is from 10 to 11. Sunday worship is from 11 to 1 p.m. Wednesday Bible study is at 7 p.m. It's on Zoom, so you need to join us. Choir practice every Saturday at 6 p.m. Our monthly services. Second Friday of each month is our prayer meeting, and it's at 7 p.m. Last Sunday of every month is our Holy Communion service. One Saturday of each month is our women's meeting. First Sunday of each month is our Thanksgiving Sunday. Second Sunday of each month is our Reasoning Sunday. Second Saturday of each month is our Yoruba service, Akoko Ayomi. Second Sunday of each month is our church work, church committees meeting. Third Sunday of each month is our workers meeting. If you need counseling appointment, please contact the pastor at 240-593-2570. I repeat, 240-593-2570. Blessing time. Don't go quiet. Blessing time. Offering time, like I always say, the work of God still continues, regardless. So, if you want to cash up, fcministry at yahoo.com, PayPal, fcministry at yahoo.com, Zelle is 240-593-2570. And as you do so, the Lord will bless, bless you richly. Praise the Lord. Shall we begin to pray on the offering as we raise it up to God? That God, out of that which you have given me, I brought this little out to give back. Lord bless you. Father bless you. You say you don't eat seed. You don't eat seed. But out of it, you don't you can't tell how much it's gonna bear. That Lord Bless this which you have given me and tie it to something. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, Jehovah Lord, we have come this morning again to give out of that which you have given us back to you. Lord, let it be acceptable in the name of Jesus. Father, out of the much which you have given us, we have brought this little. Father, let it be acceptable in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, let it bring multiple back unto us in the name of Jesus. Amen. Every sin that will hinder our offering by your blood, Lord, forgive us in the name of Jesus. Amen. For I say, if you have us in your heart, that you should go back and settle the heart with us. That Lord will pray that none of our sin will hinder our offering this morning in the name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, forgive us in the name of Jesus. Amen. I will pray in the name of Jesus that as many that us have to give this morning, that Lord, in your infinite mercy, you will bless them in the name of Jesus. Amen. There shall be a open door in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, those that don't have job, you provide for them in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, we thank you. We worship your holy name. For in Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. 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 the most high you are worthy you are worthy you are worthy worthy of my praise you are the most high you are worthy you are worthy of my praise you are the most high you are worthy you are worthy you are worthy of my praise you are the most high you are the most high you are worthy you are worthy
see what is happening all over the world. You can see even near at your nearby in the neighborhood, you can see, but you are still standing in the midst of this. It's not you, I told you, it's not what you sanitize. It's not what you the what you claim. Your marks don't do anything to you. But it's okay, it's part of the prevention. I will not say you don't use it. Even though they encourage us to put it on if you want to. If you want to put it on, put it on. Hello? If you want to put it on, put it on, don't worry, God. But it's not in the midst of this. So I'll be a news of somebody caught this sickness, be ill, and call it again and die. So it's God that protects. It's God that secure. Just believe this is not my portion. As you prevent yourself, as you walk, sanitize your hand, as you do whatever you want to do, you know, just know that this is not my portion. I pray that every one of us will have story over this. Amen. Can I hear that amen very well? Amen. He dare to share the story. He's only believing that can share the story. As the end of this corona, you are the one that will have it. Amen. Can you say that amen very louder? Amen. Because the Lord is with you. Because God is your strength. God is my place of what? Of refuge. Hallelujah. God is your place of refuge. No evil shall be for you. No evil of the day shall be for you. No evil of the day shall be for you. No evil of the night shall be for you. The Lord will protect you. The Lord will secure you. His hand will be upon you. The glory of God will shine through you. The enemy shall be defeated in the name of Jesus. The, your plan will not be cut off will not be cut short in the name of Jesus. Can you say that amen very well? Amen. You know what they say? To say amen, you know what me, amen means, right? That means you are agreeing with what I'm saying. He said when two agree together, not only when you hold hand is part of it, it's when they say, when they pray for you, what I said, just go. I don't agree. Hello? A amen means that you are agreeing. You are, you are connecting with it. Say amen. So when, when they say amen, to say when they pray for you, say what? Amen. Sometimes when my moms pray for me, I will quiet. Say, say amen. <laughs> I say amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. That means show. That means agree. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Is what? Agree. Say amen. amen. I say this. You have victory over it. Amen. Let me tell you. Many of you don't know the intent of this thing. Except those that things has happened in their home. They are the ones that have known that have lost the lost the loved one. We don't really have the pain because nothing. You are just flowing. You are just doing your stuff. But those that think this thing has affected, they know what has happened.
has happened to them. There's a mark in their life. And I pray the Lord will bring healing to them in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Last week we talked about the call of God. Well, the voice of God. I would I believe every one of us, do you know, God is calling every one of us. There's a voice of God over every one of us. When God called Adam, where are you? So there's a voice of God over every one of us. Any calling, there is a voice. Hallelujah. Any calling, there is any assignment, there is, let me use that word. Any assignment, there is what? There is a voice. And what that voice? The voice of God. Hallelujah. It's only the voice of God that can give us a life and that can change our story. Not a voice of man. It's only the voice of God that can take you to a better place. Because today is our Thanksgiving. We're just going to go into the word of God quickly. And we give our thanks and praise to God. Hallelujah. Truly, we all know the story very well. I'm going to talk about the call of God, the voice of God, over Noah. And I can title it, God said to Noah. You can put it that. If I want to title it, what I say? God said to Noah. Hallelujah. God called Adam. Hallelujah. Also, God called him. Also now, the voice of the Lord came to Noah. Let's go that Genesis because of our time. Genesis chapter chapter six. Chapter six. Chapter six verse five. Let we can start from verse five. I want everyone, if you're at home that you are listening, you can get your children ready. Let them see. It's okay. Make sure your heart is connected. That's the only thing. This coronavirus it will take some people out of God. Totally. Far, far off. And it will take some people closer to God. It depends what you want. To make this corona, to make, make you to closer to God, or it takes you far away. Listen, the danger of what is coming, you need to get prepared. You have not yet seen anything. Hello? We have, go and look at the scripture very well. This corona, I've never seen anything like this before in my life. As, long, as young as I am, I've never seen anything just like the whole world is shaking. No, oh, the only thing that I always hear when I look, there's a war in Lebanon, and you always hear that. You hear all those war, but one place. But what is shaking the whole world? I do not know the what? In Lebanon. <laughs> Hallelujah. That's all the words. People are thinking, where is that Lebanon that you are talking about? But now, the thing that is shaking Nigeria, shaking America, shaking the London together, and even though the world leader has no solution. Many people are still waiting for vaccine. But when vaccine is going to come out, do you know, we'll, but we'll pray, it will work in Jesus' name. Can we say amen? amen. Pray that the vaccine will work. Because that vaccine will release you to do what you want to do. Is that what you are waiting for? Not yet. It's not, that's not what you are waiting for. Let the vaccine come out. Sometimes I ask you, when are you going to stop doing what? <laughs> like you go, you're going to go back to your normal life. When I, when I, when I have what? Vaccine. Don't let God put you down on that vaccine. Put your trust in God. My security in God. If that what you base God, don't let's see that vaccine. You know they will give some people that vaccine. It will, it will work for them. And it will work for some of the others too. So don't put your mind on vaccine. Put your mind in God. As you take your caution, wash your hand. Put your mask on. Do whatever you do. Your social distance. Hallelujah. Cough is another thing that you don't want to hear anymore. When you hear, <coughs> and you look back, what's going on? Hallelujah. There's nothing called bless you anymore. Any sneeze, you pick a race around. No tissue. Oh, God bless you. Take a tissue. Father, you go and take by yourself. <laughs> That's our word now. And and then it's a prophecy. It's a prophecy of Jesus Christ coming to pass. They ask him what is going to be the sign of your coming. There's, there's what is going to be the sign. Listen, don't let the coming of him cut us on awareness. He has given us many signs. He said, many we don't know. We don't know the, the angels. Listen, 
you want to know because he show you the sign. I know that they have been saying it war, war, but now it's getting intense. It's getting more, more. I know there's war. Nineteen many years there has been the same thing. We're going to see that today. But but we can see that the everything is getting intense, violent things is happening to make our heart to prepare for our Lord. I don't know whether you are thinking of God's coming. I don't know whether you are thinking as a believer. You know, I always told you, I'm a, not that I'm afraid of death, but I'm afraid what is happening, what's going to happen, because you are only, my daddy, my daddy, no daddy there. Hello? You know, because you don't know. You are, that experience, no one knows how it's going to look like. And you show up in a place that you don't know if it's dark, anything. But if you have Jesus Christ as your friend, he's waiting for you. Hallelujah. It's an experience. It's a terrible thing. Death is a terrible thing. So now you can, if you want to, I can, maybe I can try my best to fight you off. Now, physically. But spiritually, you are nowhere. You don't know what is happening. Hallelujah. That's why you need to get ready. Because what is, what, what, I will say it in my language. What do you say in my Seven and ten, don't be a year. Oh, you see, see, Lord. Hallelujah. The Lord Jehovah God will help us in Jesus' name. Amen. Genesis chapter six, verse five. Let's read from five. And the Lord saw that the wickedness of man was what? Was great in the earth. And that every imagination of their thought of his heart was what? Evil. Oh, what did he say? Why we don't have this now? Can somebody tell me that we don't have the thought of man so evil now? Let me tell you one thing. The thought wasting time because of Holy Spirit. Because of what? That's why we don't see man like this. Because God gave man Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit is on earth to control the affairs of man. Holy Spirit brings the right thought to us as a believer. For remember, he said they thought what the man is thinking. Evil, evil, evil. Even though he's still as even though the Holy Spirit on staying on earth, man wants to carry on out his own mission. He said the thoughts of art of man is evil. Not one day, continually. I'm going to draw, draw correlation to that what this verse. I'm, let's, let's go for that. This is a time of Noah where God is saying the every art of man. It's wicked. They look at you to rob you. They look at you to rape. They look at you to steal. They look at you. What they are, that's all what they are doing. Everything, no good. And not only one day, they are continuing to do it all the time. They are continuing to carry the evil out. And God himself confirmed that the art of man is what is wicked at all time. And the law regrets. Can God regret? No, God does not regret. It's not a shock. That word is not regret. God not regret. Ah, I will die. No. God knows what is happening. Nothing shocked God. Listen, there's nothing I'm going to do now that will move God. He can move you. Ah, pastor. Ah, you pastor will leave. He can move you, but never move God. Hallelujah. It's not strange to God because He sees it all. Hallelujah. So go and look at a man. Let me see another way to do this. And he has, that he has made human being on earth. Hallelujah. And his heart was totally, deeply troubled. So what am I going to do? Why? A man have this thing. Remember, in the beginning it was not so. Because a man, we want to be like him. And we don't have the power to be like God. Listen. All those things that we want to know, we're going to know it later. But now we don't have man don't have the ability. Look at me. When you look at the tree of life and the tree of death that is there, that tree. Why God told them not to eat the life? Did you know that there's a life tree there? Do you know that? God also plants a tree there, which is called the tree of life. But he has never told them to go and eat that life. Maybe they are not aware of going there, but he only instruct them. Remember, God never said to them they should go and eat the tree. It never said to them, don't eat the tree of life. But man, we run after the things that God never put into our hand. Their eyes never open to go and eat the tree which is life. The one God don't put in their hand. Why? 
Anything that God told us to do is a contention. When God told us to do, it turned to contention in our heart. It turned to fight. Say, pay, give, tithe. Say, no, now, nah, tithe is something else. Love. Now, anything, every act of man, when God gives us instruction to do, now it's a contention in our heart. We want to fight it. God told them, this tree you don't eat, and that's what they want to eat. The tree of life that we should have saved their life, they don't go after it. The kingdom of God that we have saved after our life, but we don't. Don't do this. That's what you want to do. Don't go there. That's where you want to go. Why? Because the heart of man is what? Wicked. They never thought of it. Look at it. And after the man sinned, God said, please, right away, if they should have eaten the tree of life, maybe there's no redemption for us anymore. We will die in this, and God will forget about us. Because why? I said, for angel, there's no forgiveness for them. Why? Because they already eat the tree of life. They don't die. Maybe man should have took part in that tree of life. God said no. He said, so they should not die. They will not remain in their sin forever. So quickly he sent them out, out of that place. And he sent the angels to guide that tree. For them not to touch it anymore. That's why maybe that's why there's a redemption for us. Maybe there's another opportunity for us. I can still redeem this one. Why God don't redeem Satan and the angel? Because no more. Nobody paid the price for them. For Christ paid the price for us. There's another way. Tell somebody there's another way for you. Hallelujah. Let's go further. So that I will wipe off the things of the earth, the human race have created. And with them animals and the belt and the creature that, that all among along the ground. But I regret that I made them. God look at man. He has a change of mind. God has a change of mind over a man. But one thing, everybody say, but. In the midst of it, in the midst of this chaos, God can still find somebody. In the midst of the act of man, is wicked. In the midst of it, God can still find somebody. Listen, let me tell you. Your excuse is not, God will not buy it. I'm telling you, I grew up being molested. I grew up being all that kind of that they are saying to you. Get out of it and let go. Because some people have been in it and they have still find favor in the heart of God. That's all what we are saying this morning about forgiveness. Forgiveness is not a choice. It's a commandment. No matter how we take. I, I, listen, there's a man that's been in prison. This man sent this man to prison for almost 40 years. And now this man on a sick bed of cancer. And the guy walk up to the man. The, the, the guy realized, the policeman realized that he has seen, he has wasted his life for that man. It's on YouTube. You can watch it. And the man came walking to that man. The man said, I'm very, very sorry. And he said, I, I know I've robbed you. Please, please, please. He said, please, did I try to give this? Now, and the, the newscaster that was there asked the man that is in prison, do you forgive him? Man was silent on his sick bed. He said, Never! I'm not going to forgive him. He said, Please walk out. I will not forgive you. You have wasted my life. You have ruined my life. And look at that moment. That moment. Now, he himself never called upon God for help anymore. No matter what it is, I know it. There's a pain in him. There's something in him that's so bitter for what Christ demands. As we know, I forgive you. You know, what about people that have killed? Somebody killed somebody and you walk up. Listen, I don't want this person to die. I want this person to be forgiven. I forgive. That's what that's what Christ did for us. That's why the, that's the gospel. Hello? When we talk about gospel, what is gospel? The, new, the good news of Christ that man sinned against God and God forgive us and we have life in Christ. That is what? The gospel. The good news. Somebody paid the price for you and forgive you. I know in our heart sometimes it's difficult. I know that's why you need God. That's why you need the Holy Spirit to help you. I know it's not easy. Sometimes my wife, when I say something, I say, do you forgive? I forgive what I have. No, so I know that. I know what we are talking about. But forgiveness needs to come. It's not a matter of choice. It's not a, it's, there's no choice about it. 
is a demand, it's a commandment. Remember, clear statement, your heavenly father will not forgive you. He killed me, he did this to me, he robbed me. But I, I told you now, forgiveness comes when there is a repentance. Hello? Forgiveness comes what? When, when there is repentance, God forgive me, God forgive me. When there's no repentance, God don't forgive him after. But you know that after after now, it's another thing. God sees that as a repentant heart, like a prodigal son, came back to his senses, ran to his father, I've sinned against you and everything. And there is forgiveness. You can, that's forgiveness. Not, not somebody of, you go there, we just started. But you are the one that offended me yesterday. I just started with you. You never say anything yet. Yeah, but, no, but do you know, even in, in that position, that's what the Bible told us. It's a cross. Everybody say it's a cross. Okay? Walking with Christ is a cross. It's a cross. Even if the person don't never ask for forgiveness, you have to give. Hello? Even if the person never asks for it, you have to give. It's not about the person. Because when we get to heaven, God is not going to call my wife and put beside me. On that day, I don't sabia. her. Everybody, you're on your own in heaven. Hello? Hello? Everybody is what? The Bible says there's no marriage in heaven. You better do whatever you want to do on earth. Heaven will separate. God bless you. How are you, sister? God bless you. Maybe that's what's going to come to you, heaven. Hallelujah. Your wife never will say, oh, sister, God bless you. You know, you are righteous now. Please, the Lord. Not all. Nothing anymore. Not, nothing like that anymore. Don't let the heaven caught you with that, catch you with that. Oh. Not even though you, you will not have that mind anymore. Your mind has been renewed. Your heart has been renewed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So that's why how I'm using the how connect. The Bible told us, me and my wife, we are what? We are one. One. But when we get to heaven, we are not standing together. Everybody, stay on your own. God bless you. And I give account of myself. And if, if, if I pass, which I'm going to pass, <laughs> they will send me to heaven. And also I pray she will pass too, so we can enjoy together. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. That's how heaven is going to look like. So what I'm saying to us is to get yourself. Don't let anyone hold you down. The journey is about you. But you can take as long as many people with you. The journey, know that the journey is about you. Not God is going to question anyone. So what, what have you done to this person? No, he's not going to ask you that. How do you spend your life? Give me the account of yourself. Give me account of your life with the activities with others. That, you are, that is about you. So do it well. Don't let anyone stand in your way. Do it well. Don't let anyone hold you down. Forgiveness is of the Lord. I know that. But it demands you to give it no matter what. That's what God cries. If you have any wound, it's a pain. Ask him to heal it for you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If there is a wound in your heart, he told you, I am a healer. I know there's pain. I know. I've seen my friend. My friend has done something bad to me. That even though I caused him in a dream, I, I begin to cause him that it's not going to be better for him. I believe that's my spirit causing him. And the day I saw him, I said, I caused you in my dream, but I pray for you today. And after that, the door opened for the guy. The guy wallowed like he run, wallowed like around, like anything. Maybe that's why that, that, that thing don't work. After he came back, after he has roaming like around, and he came back, he showed up in my, in my door that day. I said, I caused you before, but I will pray for you now. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Forgiveness is, is mandatory. It's part of our journey. I told you a, a pastor, a pastor, a pastor that sinned, and the wife was there. Jerry Seville shared the story. The pastor sinned, and the wife fell into sickness for many years, and she was so sick, the wife. And the lost, the, Jerry Seville said, want to pray for that woman. 
And the Lord said, I'm going to heal her now. She will come out of that sickness if she can forgive the husband. Right away, the woman said, never! I will die with it. And she died with it. What will be at, what, what, at her own cost? So you can pay it. I'm going to face what is coming. You can't face it. Hello? What did I say to you? Go on, when you get back to your house, go and turn your, your, I'm not saying to do, but say, oh, this pastor, I know people in the world, they caught it. This pastor said, they go and put their hand on the gasoline. Go on. Listen, fire is not something that is easy. Put your hand on it and see, you know. And that's how, sometimes I look how, I, I look in myself, like, even though this, this, the hell is too much to bear. He said, Bible don't say it, I should have said something else. What I say to you is too much. I, what? We are not talking about three years, four years, ten years, five years. Even three years is too much. For 24 hours, you were in the, I don't know how it's going to look like. And I don't want to know. See, one year, somebody is in the fire. Somebody is in the pain. Ah, you don't even think about it. You're worth thinking. Listen, one year, two years, Somebody is in the pain. 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 Some, you know, some, the Bible says so. And I what? I believe it. Praise the Lord. Let's go further. He said, God thought to wipe away the man from the face of the earth, but one person find favor and Noah find grace. In the eyes of God. May you find grace. May you find favor. May you find grace. May you find favor. May you find grace. May you find favor. May you find grace. Noah, find grace. And not only that you find grace, but just, just pick him among them. Because Noah, let's go further, is a righteous man. Before God. This is the account of Noah and his children. If you can look at it very well, let's go because for our time, let's go to verse 11. Okay, no, listen, le, 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 listen but that's nine. See, so this is the account of the. He said, Noah was a righteous man, blameless among the people of the, his time, in, in his time, and he walked faithfully with God. And Noah, he walked what? Faith. That means he single himself. That's why I said to you, listen very well. When you say this and that, something happened to me when I'm young, and you carry that thing in your heart for so bad, and begin, God will give an example of this person. Listen, you, my boy, come here. Tell, tell your story to this person. I grew up this, I grew up that, this happened to me, somebody offended me. Tell me, tell, tell him, tell him. You find you are there's no excuse before God because some people came out of it. In the midst of the chaos of all this, Noah was a man with a righteous with God. So you can do it. The rest are doing it. I want to do it. I, I'm the only one. No, you can do it. You, you can still be with the Lord. This is what people are doing now. You no, you can still stand. God can still find you. God can still locate you. It's what you want to do. It's how you want it before God. Hallelujah. Don't follow the multitude. Follow God. If God is with you, no one is against you. If every world, if every the world, the rest of the world is sharing your go on again. Yeah, yeah. If the rest are telling you, shame you up. And God said, hmm, what you are doing? You better, you better say, everybody do what? Quiet, quiet, quiet. Because everyone is silent. It's better to be on God's side to be the side of the world. The side of the world will be destroyed. God stand, God's, God's word, son, side will stand forever. Hallelujah. God find Noah as man that is, that is righteous. God find Noah as a man that is righteous. God is looking for people. God is, are you? Listen, it's a, it's a demand that God wants us to, it's a, it's a call. I know it's tough in the midst of it. I know 
I'm not saying that the Christian work is so easy. It's not easy. If somebody tells you it's easy, but we can do it through the power of what? Holy Spirit. It's not easy. Oh, come on. It's not easy. Things will flash your eyes sometimes. Things will happen. You want to do things sometimes. You say, no, it's a cross I have to carry. Some people, they will come to your face and tell you, you are the one, this, ah, really? Hallelujah. But you still say, no, I'm still going to stand for Christ. I'm not going to go that route. Hallelujah. Let's go further before we get to our word. And Noah was, they said, the, it's the, uh, now the ark was corrupt, corrupt in God's sight and full of violence. And God said, corrupt art and has become for all people on earth has corrupt their ways. And the Lord said, this is where we are going. And the Lord said, I'm going to put an end to all people for the earth is filled with violence because of them. I'm surely going to destroy both them and the earth. Hallelujah. But one thing it means God planned to destroy the earth. He caused somebody out of it. God called what? God called somebody out of it. Let's go to chapter 7. Chapter seven. In the midst where God said he's going to destroy the earth, there's a call of God. In verse chapter 7, verse 1, And the Lord said to Noah, Go into the ark, you and your whole family, because I found you righteous in these generations. In this very one, I find you righteous. I found you righteous. I found you the one that is righteous. Listen, God is looking for everyone. God is, no matter who you are, no, ma no matter how far, come to the cross. He can help you. Listen, God is the one that will help you to walk that journey. What I say to you? I've swear to God in my life before. I've swear, totally swear. Totally, oh, I swear. God look at me and say, no, you are, you are a joke. Swear for where? I'm the one that will help you. Don't swear to me. He told me clearly. I hear that voice clearly. You don't swear to me. You find yourself doing the same thing. I'm the one. Depend on what? All oh, my grace and my strength. You can't do it. It's one. He wants to help you. Even though God is offering us help, but we are rejecting it. God is telling you, I want to help you. I want to take you there. I want to lead you. But saying, I don't want it. I want to do it on my own. Listen. Let's begin to pay attention. Let us begin to call our, our mind to act of repentance, act of worship, act of fellowship. This corona, I have sent some people out of God totally. You can hear many different things in the church. Ah, we don't need church anymore. Ah, all these pastors, they just become a day or so, this one, they can they continue. Hallelujah. We have people, ah, now nah, church, this is we don't pray, we don't go to church. Is that, are we not moving our life? Is it the trick of the devil? That's what devil wants us to do. Get you out of the place. The Bible told us, do not forsake the gathering. It has no reason. There's a reason for it, for us to come together. If you're, if you, I don't say if you don't come to church, you cannot go to heaven. You can go to heaven. Church don't defy your heaven. Don't qualify of your heaven. Even some people in the church, they are going to hell too. <laughs> Hallelujah. So don't define your qualification to heaven. It's not a license to it. Never. But also it helps. It builds your heart. I think there's a statistic there. there are people, it's a people that mix with people have long life. People that come together. It's a part of it. People that come together, fellowship. Um, you know, that's what the Satan wants to do. You know, people coming together. Do you know that they say suicide will increase? Because people are not as a Satan anymore. Social distance. Social. Hey. Just stay up front there. Say hi to me. Don't come near. So she are what? Mm. Is, that the, the, is that what God wants us to do together? Who, who, is, who is doing that now? The devil is one that is coroning everybody. But God will put an end to it. Can I hear that email very well? That is not the plan of God. I don't agree. God is punishing. God is not punishing no one. He's devil. God is killing. God is not killing no one. He's a giver of life. 
is not a killer. But you can stay under his umbrella to walk. So God found Noah as a righteous man and told him to build an ark. And that ark is Jesus today. Listen, that ark is what? Jesus today. Because of our time, let me just, because we, we, I want us to dance and give praise to God and worship God and give your thanksgiving and let your hallelujah be. Let, let, let's look at the story. The story is not new about Noah. We all know the story very well. We all know the story very well of Noah. I think there's a good, there's a, I think they find the ark. I think there's a, something that I read before that they found that ark of that Noah. Yeah, that is there. That means that it testifies that the Bible is true. That the word of God is true. Praise the Lord. What do you get out of this story of Noah? What's my business with Noah? I don't beat art, art, I don't know. But one thing is calling your attention to it. Listen, God wants a new thing through you. What I say God wants you to do? God wants a new thing through everyone. The art was wicked, but God finds Noah a new thing through Noah. God wants a new thing through everyone that you are hearing me. God wants to do a new thing through your life. God wants to do a new thing. God is a new, no matter how the chaos, no matter how that thing sounds, God wants to bring something new out of it. I said new thing is coming out of you. Go find that the art is wicked. The art of man is wicked. It's full of evil. But in that means of that very thing, God wants to bring out a new thing. And you find that man called Noah. Hallelujah. Because through him, the salvation, if God should have destroyed the earth, everybody, Noah died, everybody died. That's the end of man's race. God said, okay, let me preserve these people. And now they begin to have children. Now, now ma many to this present now. And the salvation, what God has prepared for the foundation came through Christ Jesus. And the thing, what do you learn out of it? God find Noah to be faithful. What I say? To be faithful. God wants everyone to be faithful, to be, to be faithful. God wants us to stick to it with him. Faithfulness is what God demands from us. It's part of it. God wants every one of us to be faithful. God find Noah to be faithful. What is faithfulness? God told him to build an ark. Let's open up Hebrews chapter 11, verse 7 quickly. Hebrews chapter 11. Hebrews chapter 11, verse 7. God find this man to be faithful. God wants everyone to be God wants everyone to be faithful. Faithful to every area. Faithful. Listen, we have said not I'm faithful to God. You are not faithful to man. Your faithfulness to man is your faithfulness to God. I'm not saying in God's way. If you say you are only faithful to God and you are not faithful to men that you see, the Bible says it's a lie. Praise the Lord. Uh, it's, me, it's me between me and my God. Is a lie. It's between you and the one beside you. If the one beside you don't qualify you good, and you think God is saying, with, without a biased mind, oh, God never qualify you. Praise the Lord. Sometimes we use the, the voice of men, the voice of God. The, the voice of men can be wrong. I will not say that. But God used men to declare his word. Hallelujah. Because there are many things out there and people are buying into it. People are loving it. You know, some people love things that will suit them. Hey, it's good. What, is the Bible says it's good. The word of God says, the, the word of God, is it aligned with the word of God? Don't just flow with idea. Read your scripture. God wants us, Hebrews chapter 7, verse, uh, 11, verse 11, let's say, by faith, being one of God, of things, not seen as yet. Move with fear. What did he move? Fear. He moves with what? Fear. He has not seen it. That's never happened before. God told Noah, rain is coming. And it has never happened before. Never. But he moved with fear. Preparing an ark to save of his house by deal with ears. What? Condemn the world. And it became the year of righteousness, which is by faith. By what? Faith. 
Say faith. 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 You believe it. And go accounting to be. You believe what I told you that is coming. You believe what I told you that rain is coming. And the rest, they told them rain is coming. Oh, what kind of rain is that? Don't let them deceive you. No longer month. No, there's no rain nowhere. There's no rain nowhere. But you believe it. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Another thing that we learn from this, Noah is committed. What I say? He's committed to this assignment. God told him, build an ark. You know, I begin to, there's, people say he built it for 120 years. There's a theological aspect on that, whether 120 years. That, no, but I will, not, I will not go that in that area. That God did not say to him that 120 years. But he believed it for a long time. I believe when the man is, do you know the funnest thing? Noah probably did the only, not only the one that built the ark. He probably hired those people too. The people that act with Zoko, so the one who The people that will call, come and enter. They are not going. Hallelujah. Yes. Oh, this guy is going to Maryland, Maryland seashore, seashore, seashore. seashore, seashore. After they finish seashore, they enter. They, the rest enter. They go. They are the one they make. Maybe that's what we are doing. Listen, don't do that anymore. Be part of it. Be part of it. Be part of God's works. Don't look far off. Some people, they probably help him to carry the everything. But what, what, what about? Are you going to come? Oh, no, 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 no. I don't believe in that what you are believing. But there's going to be rain. Please come. Go and bring your family. No, no, no. Come, come on. I just help you to build it. Come on. I don't believe that. Who's that God telling you something? That's what happened before. But when the rain show up, hmm, they are saying something different. Hallelujah. He's committed. Be committed to what you are doing. Look at it. Second Timothy chapter 4, verse 7. He said, I've he said, I have fought the good fight. I've finished my race. And I've caught uh, what? Kept the faith. Hallelujah. He said, I've kept the faith. Listen, keep the faith. Praise the Lord. Yeah. I've fought a good fight. That's what Paul was saying. The time they want to kill him. Paul, they want to behead him. That's why he put all the scripture. He was saying this. They're about to cut off his head in Rome. They're about to cut off Paul's neck. And was saying this. Ah, I've finished my course. And listen, I pray we will be able to walk with God. Amen. I'll, listen, and your faith don't come in a day. It comes to what you have built. What you have built your muscle. You don't have six pack in a day. Hello? Amen. Praise the Lord. What you don't have in a day. If they tell you all oh, this woman around, all oh, this man around now, two minutes you do. <laughs> Hallelujah. And now you can do that. Those, those people they are running the race. Go and wake up in the morning, they are running every day. Hallelujah. Yeah. And their, their body begins to get used to it. That's also a spiritual walk. A spiritual walk don't come in a day. It comes what you have developed yourself. Your time that you have spent with God, your moment with Him makes you to be strong. You can't be strong. Empower me. You think just just God don't put power? If He put on you, He kill you. Hallelujah. Many of us we ask God for power. God said, "Don't make give this thing to you. He makes you. We turn you to something else." God, I I need your power. I need. You keep on asking. I don't say you should not ask, but you need to build your. Listen, what they what are they telling us to do? In this time of Corona, what they say they are telling you to do. Please tell me, please. All these nurses that are here, please. Huh? What's your hand? No, you, that's not what I want to hear. Don't disturb anyone. <laughs> no, that's not what I want to hear. What I want to hear is nurses, please. All these doctors, please tell me what do they say you should do. Don't touch your face. That we should build. I, excellent. That's what I want to hear. That's how the same thing Christian walk. Anyone that is in immune system is strong. This thing cannot go, cannot penetrate. So people are carrier. They just they just giving everybody, but never affect them in a second. Someone that is immune system is not strong right away. He knock the person down. Hello. That's that's about a spiritual walk too. Build your immune system. And don't come in the immune system. Don't come in a day like that. Eating the right food. Doing exercise. Doing the right thing. You are building it. 
take your vitamin A. Take is it vitamin A? They don't have A. Okay. You take B, whatever you want to take, just take whatever you want to take. You take C, you know, you take D. I know that I'm taking D right now. Mm -hmm. You take all those things. Your immune system now strong. And then attack. You able to stand. The same thing, your work with God. Your new system has to be built. And that don't come in a day. You come gradually. 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 The Lord will help us in Jesus' name. Amen. Lastly, let's rise up on our feet. Because we're going to give thanks to God. Colossians chapter 3 verse 23 says to us, Whatsoever you do, do it heartedly as what? As unto the Lord. None unto what? Unto man. Put that scripture. Let everybody read it very well. Everybody read it louder. Look at this. Read it. Can I hear the church? Look at me. Let's read it again. We're going to read it three times. We are not going anywhere. Osha, lock the door. They're not going. <laughs> read it very well. Can I hear one more time? As unto the Lord, as of today, stop doing for things for men. Do it for the Lord. Love your husband for what? For the Lord. Love your wife for what? Even though, Mr. Man, I know you still have effort in it, but I love you for the Lord. The church, don't do anything for me. Do anything for the pastor. You, no, forget about that. He said, whatever you are doing, do it wholeheartedly. That's what Noah did. He did it wholeheartedly. When people are mocking him, laughing at him, he said, no, it's unto the Lord. To the Lord. Because he's looking to the reward, not what people are saying. Listen, stop doing things for men. Love your husband as unto the Lord. Because he told you whatever is good, don't never worry of doing good. Do everything as unto the Lord. Unto the Lord. Unto the Lord. It will help you. You don't look at man. So whatever you do, do it ardently as unto the one that creates you. I know some people will flash it on you. I don't do anything for you, but I do it unto the Lord. Continue doing it. Hallelujah. So far, you are doing it. Praise the Lord. That's what that's the calling that he called to us. That what everything that you do, do it as unto the Lord. Do you know that we have uh, many things to do for him? You give as unto the Lord. You love as unto the Lord. There's no argument. People fight on tight. I read I read a scripture. Somebody went over and saw his own land and house and brought that thing to the to the defeat of the apostle. I bet you. If I say, re ka ka ka, yeah, yeah, the Lord said to me, your house, sell it. Your house, sell it and bring it. I know, but you, Pastor Festus, I don't know where he's from, whether he's from Maryland, but whoosh, the man selling to people to go and sell their house. Isn't what happened in the scripture? Where is the argument? Why is the argument? What, what, what is the argument there? And they lay it, truly they use it rightly, they don't use it anyhow, rightly. They, they bless people with it. No, no, they use it rightly. But it's scripture. So what are you fighting about? You are still fighting on your one ten. It's not enough. Blah, blah, blah. Forget about that. Do everything as unto the Lord. Love your children as unto the Lord. Love your job. as. Do whatever thing that you are doing in the church. Do it not because of pastor. I, have, I can't reward you. Hello? I can only appreciate you. God bless you. God bless you, my brother. Handshake, handshake, handshake. Praise the Lord. But the, the reward that beyond my reason is the one that can reward you. I pray the Lord will help you in Jesus' name. As on today, let God find you. Let God find you. Are you available as on today to God to find you? Are you available? God find Noah. Let him find you. God said to Noah. He's saying something to you too. Today, I pray 
he will help you in Jesus' name. Now, quickly ask for God's help and ask for his power. You can't do it on your own. You can't do this on your own, but you can ask for his help. You can ask for his strength to help you. He can lead you to your place of liberty. You can cry to him to help you right now. Tell him to help you to walk in this journey. Tell him to help him to help you. I realize I cannot do this, oh God. I realize I'm failing. Help me, oh God. I realize I can't do this. I realize I'm struggling, oh God. Tell him he's the only one that can tell. He's the only one you can open up to. Oh, thank you, my father. In Jesus' name we pray. Do you know the only person you can open up to and never mock you is only God. No matter how worse you are, go back to him and say, Lord, I'm this and that. You know I'm bad, so bad. He said, I know, I see that, but I want to help you. You know that my heart is full of sin. He said, I know that. He's the only one that you can talk to and he can help you. Even if he can direct you to people, go and meet this person. As he led Paul, he can lead you too, but he's the only one you can. Don't stop to talk to him. Explain yourself to him. I'm a bad guy. I'm a, I need help. That's the heart that God wants. And he see you, he will help you. Today, receive that help in Jesus' name. Let help find you in the name of Jesus. Let help come to you in the name of Jesus. May God find you in the name of Jesus. May you be available today. He knows another thing. God is calling. You are not available. Come. Come. Come on. Come. Come. May you be available today. Thank our righteous God. In Jesus name we pray. I pray in the midst of this chaos. No evil shall be for you. Enemy will not put a mark on you. Any mark, apart from the mark of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, shall be far away from you. In the name of Jesus, all of our children, your husband, your wife, are covered by the blood. That they will have the story of victory. In Jesus' name, we pray. Can I hear that amen very well? Hallelujah. Today is the first Sunday. I want us to give thanks to God. Get your off for those that are watching. You can get your offering. We we'll give. Uh, we we'll bless the Lord with your offering of thanksgiving for what you have done. Is it worth giving? Yes, it worth giving. And God, yes, and God, what of receiving it? Hallelujah. God, what of receiving that thing in your hand? Try it. Say God is not the one. He will show you whether you're able to go to work. Hallelujah. Sometimes you just jump up and go into your car. You have strength. You're able to get your, you get your paycheck. And you look at your paycheck very well. So, uh, so much. And you never think of giving God out of this. I'm not, just listen. I appreciate God with your heart. Hallelujah. Anyone want to give thanks to God before we give general thanksgiving? Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Okay. I just want to. Huh? Okay. Um, let's give him mic. We want to give thanks to God. Let's go. Okay, okay give him mic. To give thanks. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 You, 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 you can come. You want to come? <laughs> okay, say it. Say whatever you want to say. Come. I give thanks to the Almighty God. Mm -hmm. uh, this month is the uh, Lord had a year to my year this month. August, uh, August 12th is going to be uh, my birthday. And again, I thank God for a successful surgery that happened to me a few days ago. And, and I thank God that I'm, I'm a child of God. That's why I have the strength to be in church today. Amen. People who wonder how it's human. God is still performing this wonder in our life. And I thank God for the promotion uh, I gave to me on my job as well. So this year has been a wonderful year for me and my family, and I give all glory to his name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Yeah, I just want to appreciate God. Hallelujah.
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, I have another song. In London, the husband of my daughter, he had been out of job for many months. Um, he, was, he moved to, is it Zambia or what? what? Um, he worked in uh, after in Africa, Malawi. Then he came back to London. Was there for months without job. I know the husband loved the guy, the, the my daughter and the children. I love them so much because it's my son, it's my daughter. Everybody, I have everybody around me. I thank God, but. He was out of job. I was really a bit downcasted. Because uh, a man cannot feed his family. He can't feed his children. Because what is life? It's not life when you see your family suffering. It's better to be in the grave. If you see your family suffering and you can't do anything, what do you do? But the God Almighty provided job. Hallelujah! Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Oh, I just give thanks to God for what He has done for everyone. Let us give our heart of thanksgiving. And for those that are at home, uh, you also you can give your thanks or praise, get your dancing shoe, and thank the Lord as the choir give us a song. Um, let us give our offering to God Almighty. And I know that things of praise will continue in your house in Jesus' name. Great are you, Lord, the universe declares your majesty. Who can compare? We search all over for Sammy Tora Pure. Demons travel in other mansions. Oh, 
seen us through to this moment, you will not leave us. You're going to see us through the end of this year. That we're going to have the song of praise to worship your name and to praise you. That it be that exalted in Jesus' name. We return all the glory for what you have done. We return all the praise to you. That it be that exalted in Jesus' name. Now as we are going, that it go with us, O oh God. Let your faithfulness more than ever before be over our life in the name of Jesus. Let us, let us see your goodness in every area of our life. And we shall return all the glory back to you. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Somebody, I just hear, don't worry. The Lord says he's going to be faithful. God is a faithful God. He's going to be faithful to you. I don't know anyone. I don't know what is going on in your heart. He said, I'm going to be faithful to you. Because he is a faithful God. I don't know what you are going through, that maybe you're about to give up, you're about to surrender, you don't know what to do. You say, I'm going to be faithful to you. God is a faithful God, and you're going to see the hand of God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. He's going to give you a new number. Hallelujah. I don't know what that number, but He's going to give you a new number. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Father, go with us, O oh God. I pray for every children, cover them in your blood. Every children, cover them in your blood. Those that, the members that are at home, far off, those that are watching online, listen, wherever, that let your hand be upon them in Jesus' name. May Jehovah God visit your house. May you see the hand of God in your house. In the name of Jesus. May you see the hand of God in your house. In the name of Jesus, thank our righteous one. In Jesus' name, we pray. Hallelujah. Congratulate yourself. Congratulate yourself. Point to somebody, congratulations. Hallelujah.